Hi there, I'm David Bargell, I'm one of the medical students. Oh, no. Can I just confirm your name and date of birth, please? Yep, it's um, Harry Hook, 7th of April, 93. Okay, Harry. Right. Uh, I would like to perform an examination of your upper limbs. It's going to involve moving your arms about a bit and testing the sensation in your upper limbs. Would that be okay? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Okay, for this, I'm going to need you just to take the top off. Okay. okay. Are you in any pain there? No, no, I'm not. I'm just going to start by having a look at your arms, okay? Okay. Can you put your hands out straight in front of you like this and spread your fingers? And just turn them over and just close your eyes for me and just hold them there. And keep your eyes closed and turn them over. And just hold it there. Thank you. You can open your eyes. I'm just going to test the tone in your arms now. So if you let your arms go floppy for me. Okay. Same on the other side. Just let it go floppy. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to test the strength of your muscles now. If you can just pop your arms up like this for me. Okay. And stop me from pushing them down. Stop me from pushing it down. And stop me from pulling them up. And stop me from pulling them up. Good. Put your arms out like this for me. Okay. Just pop them up slightly. And stop me from pulling them out. Stop me from pulling them out. Okay. And push against me. And push against me. Good. Pop your arms out straight and cock your wrist back. Stop me from straightening. Stop me from straightening them. And pop your wrist down for me. And stop me from pulling them up. Stop me from pulling them up. Okay. And if you can just put your hands out straight in front of you. Put your fingers together. And stop me from pushing them down. Stop me from pushing them down. Good. So if you can move your index finger out for me, stop me from pushing it in. And move your little finger out for me, stop me from pushing it in. Good. Okay, so move your index finger out for me, stop me from pushing it in. Good. And move your little finger out for me, stop me from pushing it in. Good. Now if you just turn your hands over, lift your thumbs up towards the ceiling, and stop me from pulling it down. And stop me from pulling it down. Good. I'm going to tap you with this tendon hammer just to test your reflexes now. So if you can okay. let your arms go floppy, yep. that's fine. Okay. Okay, Harry, I'm just going to test the sensation in your arm now. I'm okay. going to start by just using this piece of cotton wool. Okay. So I'm just going to touch this on your chest. If you can close your eyes for me. Can you feel that? Yes. Okay. I want you to keep your eyes closed and just tell me when you can feel it by saying yes. Okay? Okay. So I'm just touching. Yes. 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 And did, did that feel the same on both sides? Yes, I did. Okay. I'm going to do the same with a pin now. It's going to feel sharp, but it shouldn't pierce the skin, so it's going to feel like this. If you just close your eyes for me. Can you feel that sharp? Yep. Okay. So if you can just say yes when you can feel sharp on your arms, okay? Yes. 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 I'm just going to test your vibration sensation with this tuning fork. Okay. okay. So it's going to feel like this. Can you feel that buzzing? Yes. Okay. I want you to keep your eyes closed and just tell me when you can feel it buzzing, okay? Yes. And tell me when it stops. Stopped. Good. Okay. Same. 
And again, tell me when you can feel it buzzing. Yes. And tell me when it stops. It stopped. Good. Now I'm just going to move your fingers up and down. Okay, so I'm just going to take your thumb. Okay. And I'm just going to show you. This is up. Yep. And that is down. Okay. okay. If you just close your eyes for me. I'm just going to move it up and down. I want you to tell me which. Okay. Up. Down. Down. Good. Okay. Same on the other side. If you open your eyes for me. So this is up. And that is down. So if you close your eyes. Just tell me whether I'm moving up or down. Up. Up. Down. Good. I'm going to test your coordination now. So okay. if you can touch your finger to your nose like this. And touch my finger. And touch your nose. And touch my finger. And go back and forth. That's it. As quick as you can. Good. That's fine. And same with the finger on the other side. So touch your nose with your finger. Touch my finger. And keep going back and forth. Good. That's fine. Right, now I want you to place one hand on top of the other like this. Good. And just turn it over for me. And keep going back and forth as quick as you can. Okay. Place your other hand on top of that one. Turn it over. And keep going back and forth as quick as you can. That's fine. Just rest your arms there. That's the end of the examination. Thank you very much. Thank you. You can get dressed now. I performed an upper limb neurological examination on Harry, a 21-year-old gentleman. On inspection, there were no scars, wasting, fasciculations or involuntary movements noted. The tone, power and reflexes were normal throughout and coordination was intact. Sensation was normal across all modalities. So in summary, this is a normal upper limb neurological examination in this gentleman. To complete my examination, I would perform a full examination of the cranial nerves, examine the lower limbs and the gait.